Hi, my name is Kirsi Altonen and I work as the, as the Associate Professor of Project Management here at the University of Oulu. This is a story about how we actually digitalized our basic course in project management with my colleague Professor Jaakko Kujala. We have actually offered and run this basic or introductory course of project management for many years here at the University of Oulu. And it's a five credit course that we offer once a year for around 200 students who take it yearly. So you could actually call it a really traditional mass course that we offer for our students. Uh, over the years, we then noticed that actually something that we wouldn't expect is now happening among the student population who is taking this course. Uh, we had actually weekly two hour lectures that we offered every Monday morning in the lecture hall. Actually, the lecture started at eight o'clock. And then we noticed a pattern that after the first lecture, uh, in which almost all the students were present, then after that only about maybe 20% of our students actually came to listen to our lectures about project management. So the participation decrease, participation decrease in the actual lectures were decreasing. And it seemed to us as teachers that the course doesn't somehow engage our students or at least not so much that they would come and be present in the lecture hall. So there then their main touching points to the course were the book and the exercises and then the final exam. And that meant that some of the students or actually the majority of them never saw us lecturing, which we actually thought that was a pity because we of course think that the uh, topic of project management is really interesting and it should somehow inspire the students. So we started thinking about that how should we change this course and should we do something about it. It was around two years ago and the main thing was that we were think, trying to think that how to engage our students better and to make them committed to the teaching as well and how to show them that project management can actually also be a really interesting topic to study and be fun. And at first we thought that, okay, let's try to make the traditional lectures a little bit more interesting, but then it didn't seem to work. So then the, actually the digitalization boom came and we had already experiences from digital courses that we were offering in the Open University. Uh, but there we just had offered them in the format that we had videotaped our two hour long uh, lectures and then offered them for the students. But uh, when we were then kind of redesigning this course, we realized that we cannot just do more of the same and put the same stuff into the internet and into the digitalized format, but we need to somehow also redesign the whole learning experience and the course for the students. So we started thinking about the learning process and then we realized that we need to get the students engaged into active learning mode and they need to do something weekly for the course instead of just reading the book before the exam and doing the exercises. And we also wanted to make clear lectures and also support the students actively throughout the course, even though we plan it to be offered online. And during this planning process, we also benchmarked other online courses in project management, like the offerings from Coursera, for example, to get some kind of grasp that what a good learning or a good digital learning experience entails. And then we started the actual digitalization effort, which actually included planning of the videos, planning the whole course content and designing the learning environment. And for this, we worked in a collaborative mode with my colleague, teacher the first map the learning objectives for the course and then uh, because this was a pilot project and we only had limited resources we, we actually ended up in this first stage to shoot the videos easily by ourselves with the screencast-o-matic video production software and with this video production uh, it was easy but of course the quality of the videos is not as professional as in professional video production which we are now actually doing this year, still like improving the course. 
but we thought that we should digitalize the course iteratively and proceed in stages. And then we also planned the learning environment in Optima so that it would support the students' learning, uh, learning process as good as it can. And so the redesign of the course was done so that we actually divided the course contents into five learning weeks. And then this was done because we saw that this kind of approach would support the students' continuous learning process and their active learning process. And this way we could also monitor their progress weekly. And to support this approach, we made several short videos for the weekly topics and then also planned exercises so that their deadline was always at the end of the week. And we also changed the exam that we had in the previous course execution mode into the possibility to take part in project management certification exam, which we actually then saw that it would somehow support the working life skills of the students and also then be an advantage for them when they graduate. And in addition, we invested in online support through discussion areas and weekly chat tutoring sessions. And we also prepared really informative weekly information emails so that they would also motivate the students' weekly learning. And in the video production, we divided the content of the course into several short videos with the target that they would uh, last the maximum of 10 minutes. And well, uh, we managed to do that. Some of them are a bit longer, but almost the majority of them are shorter than 10 minutes. So the videos were not a two hour lecture, but fo focused on each key learning theme. So for example, if the student would like to watch a video on project scheduling and particularly to look at, look at that, how to calculate project scheduling networks, they would, could go and find a video that discusses that topic. Uh, for the learning environment, we realized that the key really is that it needs to be really simple and informative. And this was something that we really learned from benchmarking the other courses. And all information should be there in electronic format and easily available for the students. So I would say that we invested in making the online learning environment as simple as, simple as possible. So we invested in that very much. And we are, however, still thinking of how we could support the experience of the students so that they would somehow feel uh, a grasp of a collective learning process and how we could build a, an actual learning community around our course. Some of these ideas now involve more facilitated group discussions among the students and peer review process, which would also help students engaging with others' thoughts and thinking. So what were the results then actually? So we noticed that the learning results improved among the students actually quite much. And out of the 200 students, 99% passed the project management certification exam. And also the results were praised by the certification assessors. And we also received better average grades and evaluations for our overall course evaluation and the students were satisfied with the possibility to learn whenever they wanted. So we also noticed that now much more of our students actually had some kind of contact with us. At least they saw us from the videos, so, so that was also an improvement. So if we had gone out with the traditional format, it would have been that only around maybe 20% of the students would have seen us throughout the lecture series. What also really much surprised us in our course feedback was that actually 95% of the students would actually select the digitalized teaching of project management's basic course instead of the traditional lecture hall lecturing. And we also asked about the students' attitudes toward peer review and that seemed to be now something that they were really still suspicious about. But we are going to test this in our forthcoming courses and see how it turns out. So this was the short story about the experiences related to the digitalization of our course. Thank you.